Our concurrent enrollment program at Rowe Community College gives adult basic skills students a jump start on their college and career. While many of these students believed or had been told that they were not college material, they are now on a career pathway to obtain a living wage or better job in our community. What I see in students is that once they experience success in our concurrent enrollment classes, mostly because of our support that we give them to make them successful, then they believe they can do anything. Um, in the three years that we've been doing this program, um, almost half of our concurrent enrollment students transition onto college after taking the concurrent enrollment class with us. California a couple years ago, like five years ago, and the workforce here was not what we expected. So I knew I had to make a change, and I didn't have my GED at the time, and some of the jobs required it. So I figured to take the first step to help myself, because no one was going to do it for me, to sign up for the GED program. First of all, the teachers are amazing in the GED program, super lucky to have them. Um, my English teacher, writing teacher at the time, Kirsta, had recommended me for the concurrent enrollment and so the first class I took was the psychology 101 with um, Brandon he was also my advisor to here and that was super helpful because it got me into a college setting and it got me familiar with the environment and the homework and the reading study habits and all that good stuff um, I wasn't planning on going further I was just going to get my GED and go from there or maybe a certificate but it did build my confidence up, working with Brandon and the people from uh, the program, and just one step at a time, and it kind of, I felt like if I could do this, then maybe one more, and then if I could do that, then maybe one more, and here I am, full time. Um, I had three, I think six total, because I did the Psychology 101 and then the Math 63. Well, just at the beginning of the GED program, just because I didn't have a lot of confidence in my skills at all, and then the teachers would just kind of push me, like, you can do it, you can do it, and so and I guess I just one step at a time was super helpful, and once I accomplished one, I'm like, okay, maybe I could do this, and then I did another step, like, wow, I can't believe I did that, and then I kept going. Yes, Carrie was one of those students who was very nervous about returning to school. She um, is a parent and um, has a job, but um, always wanted to return and get her GED, um, but just felt she wasn't smart enough. And not only did she enroll in our program and take a concurrent enrollment class, she now has her GED and um, she is on her way to a college degree and she's very proud of herself and so am I. Uh, 2015, mm -hmm. my life had become unmanageable and uh, at that point in time I decided to give it over to the Lord and uh, he answered and uh, the first part of my journey began with changing what I was doing in my life and uh, I decided to seek uh, a new career, and uh, to accomplish that, I was going to have to go back and get my GED. And uh, uh, see, I asked, I think at that point in time, I had asked uh, how I would go about it. I wasn't very computer savvy at that point in time, wasn't probably surrounded with the best people to uh, figure out how to go about that, but I did get the uh, information to come check out RCC. And uh, made an appointment. Made an appointment with the GED program, and started from there. Um, signed up and started their. Uh, I think it's like a term in length, and uh, yeah, that's where it started. The GED program is awesome because I had questions that, to me, seemed super uh, naive, babyish. Uh, maybe not adult-like, you know, just, uh, and in that, they answered my questions, and they answered it with encouragement. They, uh, there was no, there was no dumb question at all. And uh, I think that was the point where I felt safe, you know, like that, that was my 
I was it was I was scared coming into this this whole thing, you know what I mean? Because I never trusted myself that I could go through with this, you know. And uh, they made it easy. They they made it doable, you know. Um, very supportive people. Well, first of all, I took a uh, placement test, and uh, then they figured out where I needed to zero in my study, and. Uh, I was placed in three different courses, uh, language arts, mathematics, and science was where I needed to brush up the most. Um, upon starting, I was quite surprised by how many people were, were doing the same thing as I, from 17 to, to, I think there was people, you know, 50 years, in, 50 years old in there, you know, trying to get their GED at that point in time. You know, it's not just, it's, it does a really good job at prepping you and getting you prepared if you want to to pursue anything after getting your GED. That's the best part I liked about it was its structure, um, their expectations. It wasn't that they were set high, but they were meticulous about their needs, and there was a reason for that, you know, because it is all preparation in case you want more. And uh, yeah, that just people were kind and. and mm -hmm. The Tutoring uh -huh. Center has been my best friend for the last three years. <laughs> um, they're wonderful, you know. You you can't go in there for 15 minutes and expect to achieve a mile, you know. You, there's the, they're helping a lot of people in there, you know. And so, patience is important, but good service, good service. And if they can't help you, they're going to get the adequate person that can help you, you know. There's. Uh, Oh, gosh, you have people that excel down there in math. You have people that excel down there in the computers, in, 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 in all aspects, you know. And they really, if somebody's struggling, they, they, go, they go out of their way to, to get you the help that they need or you need. You know? mm -hmm. The whole place made it safe. Safe to ask questions. Safe to be, you know, just safe. It's, you're in a safe zone where you can really just open the book, learn, you know, and I'm astonished at what I was capable of doing. I never believed that I would ever finish school, you know, and it was a huge letdown on my part because I had a lot of potential in high school and I gave it away, you know, just chose a different mm -hmm. path. And, and it, so it bugged me for many, many years, you know, I, and the farther you get away from it, the more you believe that you can't do it, but it's not true. It's not, it's not true at all. You know, they, you know, this place is set up, you know, it's, it's a, it's a piece at a time and each piece, the next piece builds on that piece. It's not like you're, you're, you're trying to move through something so fast. They give it to you and then they give you a little more and you add to that and they give you a little more. And, and it, it's, it's in, <laughs> well, my, for me, my language arts teacher, she referred me. Um, I was able to, I just participated well in her class, you know, I gave as much detail as, you know, that I could, and I showed up all the time. And uh, I would say two thirds of the way through, she said that I potentially would, could be nominated for this, this program and uh, I just had, I can't remember every guideline, but by the end of it, you know, oh, I think it was based on my grade in the class potentially, you know, um, but they offered me a dual enrollment and uh, I got to take um, Psychology 101 and it was pr pretty awesome because it's, you get it for free, right? <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> and uh, that for for me was pretty good. I didn't get it, I didn't get to do the enrollment, the dual enrollment why I was getting the GED, like some people, because I was able to finish my GED in one term. So, but they did offer me the course under the same guidelines as um, they offered it in the beginning. I just used it, I got the credit for my fall term of college. So I got a little freebie there. And yeah, I, let's see here, at the end of my second year, I applied for the human services program and uh, I got accepted. So this is my first year in the human services program and I intend to transfer to SOU at the end of next year.
back into it, you don't have those distractions that you had, like the distractions that I had in high school that veered me away from my goals. You know, they weren't present this time. And when those aren't present, it's a lot easier to succeed, you know? And and I strongly encourage anybody to not be afraid to 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 just give it a shot. You'd be surprised at what we're, you know, you can do, you know, we can do. It's, uh, if you're caught up in your head about it, it's a lie. I promise you it's a lie. You are very smart and capable of doing great things. Uh, I start here with the uh, English classes because when I came here for the first time I was not able to talk in English. I start with the ESL program here and then uh, one of my teachers told me about the GED program. I want to be prepared for uh, the college classes and improve my English only not only with speaking, writing and reading too and I take I took a couple classes there. One important thing is the teachers always uh, are trying to um, encourage you to be successful in your classes and everything and that was good too. Yeah. Start. Uh, this is my first year, uh, like a college student, and I'm working in my prereqs for the nursing program. A little bit hard, but I am doing okay. <laughs> yeah, because I have a couple classes, especially with math. I'm I'm not like super genius in math, but taking the GED classes helped me to feel confident and I don't know remember things basic basic things for math and that was good. Um, uh, first, I want to transfer my credits to another university. I am thinking in SOU to have my degree in nursing and in the future I want to apply for a master's degree in midwifery. Yeah, I want to be a midwife nurse in the future, I, I hope so. <laughs> uh, the first time, uh, the first three months for me here uh, were like I was stressful all the time, I was scared all the time, and at that time I felt uh, like shy, but now I feel like normal, like when I, like at the same that I was in Mexico, I feel the same like here now, okay. yeah, and for my classes now, because I tackled the classes before, I think that works for me to be confident in myself. Uh, I only want to add the, the GED program for person that don't have the GED is a good opportunity to have that and also I have a friend who was looking for have the GED and now she has the GED and she's working in uh, an associate degree here and at the first time she was like I only want to have my GED and it's all and here we have uh, like good advisors and they encourage you to have more and to have a better future for yourself and your family too. And I think that is important to our community here.
This is Truck Driver, local company here for the last seven and a half years. Um, was looking for a little more as far as um, maybe self-gratification, being happier. I, I wanted to give back to the community and make sure that uh, the last maybe 15 years of my work career was going to be fulfilling. You get to a certain point, you want to make some changes. And it seemed like at a time at 49, 50 years old, it was time to you know, make a decision or stay where you're at. I came here to get my GED originally. I came in the summertime, uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, did the orientation, um, did the testing, did well. Uh, was originally going to have uh, start the GED in the summertime. It didn't happen. I didn't come back until November, I believe. Um, and they gave us the opportunity to maybe take a couple college courses. So when I came back in, mm, well, I couldn't start until January, actually, 2018. Um, started the GD program and uh, went from there. Great, uh, all the tutors here, Laura, and then of course Tracy that runs the program and uh, does the front desk here. Uh, Laura helped me a lot, um, Laura Kraft, she's the tutor here, and there's a few two other tutors as well, but me and Laura connected. She helped me a lot on the math. We thought that maybe that might be something we want to work on for the, as far as my testing was showing. And uh, yeah, they were just great. They were really helpful. They were, they, they promoted you to, to do the testing. They wanted you to do the practice tests, get some confidence. Of course, when we do some, uh, I think we had to do some preliminary testing to see actually where we were at again. And uh, decided to start testing and we banged it out pretty quick the first term, so. You have four tests you do. I think it's, uh, what was it? Social science, math, uh, language, and um, I can't remember the other one now, history or something. but. Uh, yeah, so you find your 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 strong points. You don't work on those so much. You test and see kind of where you're at because you can do practice tests, and uh, you just kind of they're here to work on you, help you when you have a problem. Like me, I wanted to work on my math, so you do the actual hands-on work with the tutors, and they help you through it. Work on the problems you you need to help on, and then you'll test again and see where you're at. So you end up basically working on the ones you have problems with. They'll help you any way they can. They're very helpful, and then get you to learn what you need to learn and you do the practice test and then you go in and actually do the, the, the real test. Mm -hmm. So you can actually do a lot of it at home, practice tests on the computer. Like I said, when you need the help, it's here and that's what was important for me. So, um, Since I went to, I decided to do a couple college classes because they, they promote that with this program. If you do a couple college classes, they actually pay for it. I think it's $154 or something, but they actually paid for it if you promoted to go into the next step, which was going to RCC uh, Community College and uh, do a couple classes. So yeah. it didn't cost me anything through that process. But even if you did it yourself and they watch you through it, uh, I think it's like 150 you pay for the testing basically. But yeah, by the time it was all over, they paid for everything, it didn't cost me a dime. That was promoted for me as well. I went in February while I'm doing my GED and went to the uh, Soho demonstration for the Allied Health Medical Program. I was looking at the uh, sterile tech and the phlebotomy uh, classes. Great demonstration. Looked at sterile tech, it was more of a, seemed like packaging, and that's pretty much what it was. It's like a, maybe a warehouse type job. You're in the hospital, but it's, you know, you're packaging stuff, you're cleaning the packaging. Not that it's a bad job, just wasn't my interest. And then I looked at the phlebotomy and I did some demonstration and I was hooked after that. So we started heading in that direction. I just missed the Soho financial by, I think it was a couple hundred dollars. So I ended up having to, to finance myself through the Allied Health, which was fine. But that's a great program as well. It helps quite a few students to get that great education that uh, might not be affordable because they pay for everything in that program as well. Your your tra your uh, uh, transportation, uh, I think maybe even I'm not sure, but maybe even some daycare, whatever you need. You know your books, um, you know parking permits. Uh, I think it's uh, fuel if you need it. You know you might not be riding the bus, you might get a bus pass, but if you need fuel for your meal, they pretty much pay for everything. It's a great program. Yeah. I just got a, a letter, um, higher letter the other day from Providence uh, Hospital. We're starting full time, uh, inpatient, um, full benefits, the whole surveying. It's all these programs with the RCC, 
the GED programs, everything I've ever dealt with the last year has been nothing but helpful. I mean, the whole process from, like I said, starting at the GED program here at uh, Table Rock Campus, all the way to Riverside, and uh, even with the financial. There, I don't think there's a person I've met as far as a instructor or a counsel or anybody trying to help me or any questions I had that wasn't helpful or very nice and just made it easy. It was a great transition, so yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I can't promote this program enough, especially, like I said, for the GED. I came in here at 49, 50 years old. You feel awkward, you feel like you're not gonna fit, it's gonna be too hard, and it was so, it was made so easy. You have to do the work, there's no doubt but they make it easy, they help you through it, they help you with getting back in the school system, taking tests, any any questions you have on any hard subjects, all the tutors and all the, the, the counselors, everybody are here for you. Um, I went to the graduation after um, graduating for the GED and I seen some great inspirational stories there as well. There was a young lady there, 32 years old, um, four kids, came back to school and she, she was on a roll, she, she killed it. I think it was at the Redwood campus. Um, a lot of examples. I mean, from any age, it was from 20 to my age, maybe even older. Mm -hmm. So don't think that whatever your situation is, you're going to be fine. They're going to be here for you, and they're going to give you a great start at getting re-educated and get back into the program. It's it's not what you think it is. It's very helpful and very easy. You just have to do your part. It's really cool. Um, well, I was working as a drug and alcohol counselor, um, but I had gotten that position through trainings through the facility and supervised hours. And I was getting ready to go take the state test, and I didn't have a high school diploma or a GED, so I had to come back and get it. Um, so I came here and I did the GED program, which I totally loved. But that was my intention from the beginning, was get my GED and go. Um, and then the second term, I did two terms of GED. The second term, they came to me and said, hey, we have this program um, where we'll give you a college class for free. And so I was like, okay, why not? Um, and I ended up doing really well. I got like a 98 or something in the class. And then they came back and they were like, oh, before you go, we have one more. And so I, I took it and I got a 96 in the class. And then I was like, maybe I am smart enough to do college. And then everything kind of changed from that point. And I ended up quitting my job and coming to school full time as a college student. <laughs> so they kind of tricked me into believing that I was smart and going to school, which has been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, they came to me and said, hey, they're doing this program where they're offering a concurrent enrollment type thing. So it's actually a college class, even though you're not finished with your GED. And I was like, uh, and then they were they were saying how um, there was the class afterwards that helped you and stuff like that and it was free so I was like why not you know when do you ever get offered a free college class so I totally took advantage and here I am no I, I squeaked out straight A's again this term I don't know how I'm doing it I do actually it's here the tutoring center and just finding study groups and put in what you get out you know or you put yeah you put in a hard work and you get grades to show it so good for both of the concurrent enrollment classes we had um, our lecture time and then each one of them had like a support class one day a week um, which I think was a brilliant idea because it really helped in all those areas that really I was just afraid of you know it was kind of like an unknown place and so I had that extra support to make me successful which in turn made me believe in myself and it kind of changed everything so I I loved it I can't even say enough about that program all the time I'm just like I love it I love it really I really do That's great. Well, I graduate with my associates in June and I'm a straight-A student 4.0 and I will be transferring to SOU in the fall so I've changed my major though I was doing criminal justice and I've settled on elementary education I'm going to become a teacher and eventually teach here that's my end game is to be teaching here at RCC absolutely I had zero intentions I hadn't been to school in 20 years and I had I was petrified to come back even for my GED I had signed up a few times and always found a reason not to come um, so never in a million years did I ever think that I would be a college student no 
That was never in the plan for me. And I was actually petrified of math, which is now my favorite subject, mostly because of the GED math teacher. 